Thank you for visiting the Backstreet Journal TV. We will be posting fresh videos and new recipes every week. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit our website for updates and latest content. This week's segment, we are in Lorraine's Kitchen, where she will be sharing her tasty and delicious recipe for macaroni and cheese that is a hit with family and friends. We hope you enjoy. Okay, we're making my mom's famous oh, mac and cheese. <laughs> got my mom raining here. We got oh, Robert no. Jabril and from Cali, Ladybug. We got Ladybug. And this is world famous right here, y'all. Her famous bechamels, what people call it, or cheese sauce. For this macaroni. Let me get a spoon. Now, what you got, Mom? What's your ingredients? Okay, now I got my sharp cheddar, mustard cheese cut up, and I have my um, jalapeno cheese All Monterey right. Jack mixed. Wow. Okay, okay. now. How many cheeses was that? That was about maybe six. Six cheeses. This is like infamous in our family. Okay, now we're gonna. You might want to smack your milk. mama and girlfriend. Okay, now you put the. What kind of milk is that? This mama? is this two, regular car evaporated carnation milk. Two percent. Two percent. All right. And you're gonna stand over here and let this melt down, and then the shredded cheese is it goes in last. Okay, so you want to keep stirring? You got to keep stirring. Yeah. Okay. Well, not right now. You because, just get that. Yeah. Go ahead, mama. What you say? No, right now you just let it start letting it melt. Okay. And you put it on a, a low light. Now it's gonna take a while. It's gonna melt down. All right. But once it starts melting, that's when you stir it up. Okay. To keep turning. Now what you say before, Mom? Some people what? Like it's still little chunky pieces. Oh, okay. Now I might have to put a little bit more regular milk in on it because. It might not, but we'll And see. I made a mistake earlier. That's not bechamel because it doesn't have the root process. We like the, with the um, flour and all. I don't right. do all that. I, I've never had. Mom like, Dukes would don't you do want to do it? No, I don't I don't like how it tastes. I don't like the, I wouldn't want to like the floury. Yeah, the, the flour. I don't know what people be thinking about. But sometimes on shows, you see it done. Right. And Mom, when did you get started? See, it's melting. See, you can't move away after the. After it starts yeah. bubbling. Yeah, because see, it's gonna. You gotta stay in the. You gotta stay over that pot. Keep stirring. And when'd you get started on the whole meal, though? Okay, now what I do is. No, mom, I'm about to prep it. Remember, you said you. Oh, I cut up everything ahead of time. Right, my cut... my mom gets prepping. Like oh, I, on the 21st, she started greens and stuff. So yeah. all y'all young ladies out there, you know who's and you fresh to the game. Greens. Absolutely. You freeze them up. And if you want to do pies, you could even do the pies and freeze that up. Not the, the shells. Don't put them in the shells yet. Right. You know, just get the mix all ready. Absolutely. Yeah, I got the mix all ready. Right. So all I have to do is... And it, it, Makes your holiday better. Absolutely. You can enjoy the holiday. <laughs> You're right. That one day all in the kitchen and everybody's in <laughs> sitting around waiting and it's five o'clock and you ain't got yeah. stuff ain't and ready. This is Christmas Eve. Right. And I'm getting everything ready. Right. All I have to do is take it out the refrigerator and put it in the oven. And this stuff be ready by noon. And my one, stuff, one, two o'clock yes. is too late for my mom. Oh, no, no, this no, stuff no. is ready by we noon, <laughs> got my stuffing ready. Go okay, ahead. Okay, y'all. Yeah, she got everything stuffing, greens, everything's prepped except for the bird. We we had we, turkey on Thanksgiving. The day, yeah, that's the day we're having chicken. Yeah. But I always put the chicken in the same day. Okay, y'all. That's, that's how right it here. looks now. Let's see? see, we stirring it up. Stirring it up. Cheese sauce. See, no did flour. You, did cake, you take a right. picture when it was chunky? Yeah, yeah. See now, see? But the trick is you gotta stand over the stove. 
You can't walk away. You can't walk away. See, and look. So get your heat down, Mom. So okay, I got to turn my heat down now because now it's tricky. You don't want nothing sticking, see? Right, and you don't want nothing boiling because it'll separate your cheese sauce. You'll have, it'll be looking crazy. Yeah, and, and it'll be you looking like oatmeal. Burnt. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't, definitely don't want a burnt taste. See, this see is See that? How... Luscious. There you go. And then the, a shredded cheese will go in as soon as everything's melted down. Right. And then when I put them in the pan, I put a little touch of mozzarella also on top. All right, Ma. Inside and on top. Okay. It's almost similar like if you was making lasagna. It's just macaroni and cheese. There you go. Yep. That's like in the <laughs> store for cheese. Yeah, cheese sauce, right. Cheese you can use sauce. that for your cheese steaks if but you like it. But this is your, whole, your, your own whole. cheese sauce. Absolutely. Look and at it. No, Delicious. No flour. No, no salt. Butter. No right. salt because cheese is highly salty. Absolutely, Ma. And you don't want a salty macaroni and cheese? I don't even put butter in it, and it still tastes good. This is the best, one of the best. Oh, I didn't salt even, and pepper is, to taste. That came down good. Yeah, it okay. Did. Now I'm gonna little, put a little touch of. Yeah, yeah right. turn it down. All right. Now I'm gonna put a little touch of on show the cheese. I got your Mexican blend. Mexican blend. That's about five cheeses in there. Well, yeah. four. Yeah. Let's see. We're gonna. It is. Okay, you got your Monterey Jack mild cheddar. Uh, this is a Mexican cheese, and that's a mix. A Sedero. Yeah. Quesadilla. Yeah, yeah. And Monterey Jack. Jack. Now, I'm just doing it lightly because we don't want to. And I might have to put a touch of milk just so we can mix it with the mac and cheese. So it won't be too thick. Too thick. And I won't be able to mix it up with the cheese. Okay, this is it now. now we oh, have, you don't use all of them. I am use about half a bag of each. Yeah, about a half. And then if you if it's. If you want more, that's how you add on. Oh, now okay. we're doing our sharp uh, shredded. Yeah, sharp shredded. I already shredder, got cut shredder. shredded, but then I always get a, a bag of cut. She did the chunks. Now she's putting a shredded. She the always shredded. a shredded cheddar. That's what makes it cheesy. Yeah, that's, Only that's, a half of that give you that um, cheddar taste. taste. Yeah. Because you need Gives you that yellow color that everybody likes. Now, I'm putting my mozzarella in, and that, I'm going to say some, so when I pan it up, I would like to put a lot on top. Okay. So, you save a um, nice huh. portion for... Uh... For the top. Okay. You got to stir that up, too. You got to keep stirring. stirring. Yeah. <laughs> We gotta keep stirring, lady. But you're gonna. Ha um, I'm telling you, it's, it, this is the best cheese sauce I ever tasted. Cheese whiz ain't got nothing on this. Now you see how if when you stand up and stir it, it's not nothing chunky. Nope. Which is okay if you like chunky. Don't get me wrong. It's it's people's choices. Right. It's your taste. taste how you your, like it? You know, if you like the chunky cheese. To taste with the macaroni, it's okay. Do you think you that's up to you though, mom? You think you need your milk or not? Yeah, I am. No, oh, I know okay. I need it. I already knew that. And this recipe don't come with no eggs and nothing. This is just cheese and mac. That's all it is because your cheese is it's just so already salty. It's got salty, fat it has in it. salt, it has fat. Right. This is and actually it's tasty. a good uh, right. This is very tasty. And you don't need all of it, and everyone says it's good. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of um the Mexican blend in. It's a little more Mexican. Yeah, just to make sure, and then I'm gonna have they taste it. 
to see what else might be needed added. And I'm going to need another saucepan because I'm going to start mixing it in the pan, the mac and cheese, and plate and pan it up. And the extra touch would be the, um, the mozzarella. So, yeah, I'm going to let you uh, taste. Now, you're going to tell me if I need another cheese. I'm going to get another pan because that's how you know you might need some more or something. You always take. Mm. Now, that's all. That's perfect on cheddar. That's what I like to taste the cheddar. But you still want to get a little smoothed out, man. Oh, yeah. No, I, but I that's mean, good, though. I turn it off. For the mac eat. and cheese. Even if it's not fully, like, smooth. It's going to melt. It's going to melt in you the, put it in the oven. Absolutely. So that's perfect, Mom. Ooh. Got the little taste of the um jalapeno. You see cheese. all this here to how that looks once it's in the oven tomorrow? Right. It'll, it'll be gone. It'll right. Be... <clears throat> all them like lumps, lumps, little small lumps. It'll be smooth. Because it'll melt some more. Right. But mom, that is great. Oh my goodness. And you always taste. <coughs> you taste to see what is missing, what needs to be added, or leave it alone. Right. You don't need no but salt, pepper, nothing. But you don't need no nothing. salt, no pepper, because see, the Monterey Jack and jalapeno peppers, Right. that is a seasoning in itself. Absolutely, Mom. Oh, and then you mix it all in the noodles and the cheese yeah, I'm gonna show in the you. other pot. So what you do is so it, it gets fully, everything will get... Incorporated. Yeah, I'm a. Because you're breaking it down? Yeah, no, you know, putting it in different containers. Oh, okay. But we're going to say some. I don't know if I could put um, Paprika. I put that on last. Oh, okay. So you saying it's okay? Yeah, that's perfect. See, mom, we put all the cheese in there with the mac. And you know, if you want together. more cheese, that's up to you. But and that's she's mixing all of, incorporating everything in, getting every last piece covered with cheese. Yeah, you you need to taste one more time. Watch me here. How you doing? Come on. Don't do that. Keep your plate. <laughs> you don't know how I've been tasting stuffing and all and. <laughs> Mom, this by is the great. Time you finish, <laughs> hey, by the time you finish prepping, you're full of the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Ladybug even get that off the floor. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm glad this don't show all the, the dirt. But okay, now we're going to pan it up. Now, some on the freezer. Oh, okay. You know, Zay, sometimes we be... Wanting some more or something? Yeah, For exactly. another meal. Now, let me see. I'm going to get a container for us to freeze up something. I'm going to put all these. I got so many. A little plastic container. containers. Yeah. Okay, and this is going to be ours for freezing. All right, now, just relax. Take your time. I am. All right. Now, you could freeze this up for another meal, and just like next week is. New Year's? Mm -hmm. Right. You can have a little yeah. New Year's mac. So you have, uh, now I got a fresh batch for tomorrow and a frozen batch I'll cook up, but this main is for another meal. Absolutely. Sometimes I be wanting stuff like this, but I just don't like to um, prep it. And see, so you might as well do all your prepping if you want to have another meal, because after this, people are tired of cooking. Yeah. This really does make a lot of difference, Mom. I always used to prep stuff. I didn't go all out like you. I might do it the night before. See, you know, I've worked so long, with, I had to do things ahead of time. Time, Perfect. right. Okay, now we're going to... I got one batch that I had frozen for Thanksgiving. Now, this is going to be... I think I'll dewash this one. Yeah, that's clean. Mom. No, I know I did. Okay, now we're going to... 
Yeah, yeah move this here too, because I don't want this is our milk for us another time. Okay. Now here we go. We're gonna put it in the pan. Okay. Put it in the pan. Now I'm gonna put the milk in there. 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 For another, okay, this should All be right. for another meal, okay? And we got two pans, but usually, like, when we have a dinner, like, this stuff, it definitely, we never have leftovers. No, Maybe, like, a plate worth. Now, I'm putting a little touch of mozzarella. It almost, like, reminds you of, like, if you're doing a lasagna. Absolutely. And actually, um, I'm going to say this, so when that falls out, I'm going to put some more mozzarella, and I'm going to put paprika for color. All right, Ma. You put some of that, uh, what you call them if that ain't enough? What? Some of the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. the Mexican. Either oh, yeah, one, the Mexican, Ma. yeah, would touch, give it a nice touch. Right. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's up to you how much cheese you want on there. And if you want to put the, the little dab of sharp. All right. And you got you some cheesy. Mac and, and I'm cheese. I'm going to put a little bit on the one. I'm going to freeze up the batch. Now, where's paprika? I bought paprika. See? Oh, this there. was nice, eh? There you go. At the, all the way at the top, Mom. The top deck. Top deck. The very oh, top. Jesus, you're it. tall. Why would you do that? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we just sprinkle that on. Is this pepper? Oh, yeah. yeah and that gives it a little color. And here you go. I got a fresh bat, fresh batch for Christmas. And I had a frozen for Thanksgiving. But either or is going to taste fine. And we cooking over here, y'all. You see that? You see these dishes? With, this is real oh, no, live this is, yeah, this cooking, is, okay? Yeah, it's cutting up and chopping up. Right. And I did my stuff and that's in the um, refrigerator. I cut up my onions and celery to, uh, for the uh, chicken. For to make a sauce, I got cut onions just for my um, green beans to put in them. Right. So all you have to do is just put things out, take them out of the refrigerator and put it Pop in. And you can in. enjoy Christmas. Absolutely. You know Y'all have a happy holiday. There's mom's $20 mac and cheese. And y'all have a great holiday. Yes, have a blessed holiday. And one day you'll learn some pointers. <laughs> Always prep. I got that from... The job I had, I worked in the kitchen, which I loved for 31 years, and I was blessed to uh, work there, and I learned a lot from the chefs. But one thing we did do, we prepped ahead of time. It wasn't that one day, all day cooking. Right. You want to enjoy yourself. I don't drink, <laughs> but I like to sip some eggnog and enjoy the grains. Okay. So everyone have a blessed Christmas and a safe New Year. All right. All right.